Here in our region and across North America, it's been a wild weather week. The western half of the U.S. just got pounded with that bomb cyclone. It sounds pretty scary. So we sent NBC10 Delaware reporter Tim Furlong to find out more about this powerful weather phenomenon. We have seen snow in the western mountains, wind damage all over the place, heavy rain here in the northeast, and we heard about the bomb cyclone out west and saw the damage that it caused. So what is a bomb cyclone anyway? Well, we went to a University of Delaware professor who's also the state's climatologist who says it's a storm defined by a steep pressure drop. And it's typically thought of as a 24 millibar drop in pressure in 24 hours. Basically, though, all people need to think about is it's just a storm that's really intensifying fast. He says we get bomb cyclones on the East Coast, too, sometimes several a year. Out West, the heavy rain from a bomb cyclone causes flooding, and where they've had big forest fires that leave burn scars, they get dangerous mudslides. Climate change, sea level rise, it likely all plays some part in the amount of storms we have and the intensity. Well, we can certainly take much better care of the planet, but that's not going to help us with these storms in the short term. We can, though, get much better at predicting when these storms are going to happen, which would buy us even a little bit of precious time to better prepare for them. Just an additional six or 12 hours of preparation time can make all the difference. The more time we can give people to prepare for these types of storms, the better. And after every major storm, Dr. Leather says experts go back and look to see what was right and wrong in the forecasting and what they could have done better. He says weather changes quickly and meteorologists are really very accurate three to five days before a storm. But he says the technology just isn't yet there to make a truly accurate prediction as far back as he'd like. I think we'll get better and better, but we're a long way from being able to look at them two weeks, even two weeks out. Uh, it's pretty hopeless. At the University of Delaware, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.